This box. I mean, I mean, you know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean, but I'm freaking excited. Oh. I mean, it's big. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. It is like a, like a, a 3D kind of. I don't think you can see it on, well maybe you can, you see that, how it shifts. But it's not um just a sticker, oh wow. Maybe you can hear the, you know, it's kind of ridged. I just like, I wanna not open it because I wanna just keep, be in this moment forever. I don't wanna lose this moment. <sighs> okay, it's opening, it's opening by itself. I'm not even doing it, it's just. <sighs> Just, oh my God. I told myself I was not gonna cry, but I might. I'm gonna close it again and then open it so that you guys get the experience. Isn't that insane? It's a, it's a 3D, look, I can put my finger behind Beetlejuice. I can put it. Up his nose if I wanted to. It's fine, I can do what I want. And then, oh yes, <clears throat> that's just the time wrong. Let's look at that. Let's open, I'm gonna open the drawer at the bottom here. And then, hmm. Oh, 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 I do. I do love this collection as much as you guys, if not freakishly more. This will be framed. Oh, these look, this is so great. They're photo shoot, which is like, I mean, come on. That is the definition of killing it. That is so amazing. Oh, okay. This is lovely. So we have a little booklet, Mel Loves Beetlejuice booklet. And it explains the ins and outs of all the new kind of formulas and it has all the uh, ingredients, I believe. Yeah, for everything, what everything is, because there are some new products and new formulas in here and what you can and cannot do with them. Even the lash curler is on here. It has directions and ingredients. So I find that this is really great because I feel like a lot of people were having questions about like, what does this mean? What is that thing? And then, oh, yeah. and the cute, the legs, the saw girl, magician's assistant. That's cute, it's a little sticker. Those brushes look amazing. I didn't know they were gonna be, they're bigger than I thought they were. Whatever, we're just gonna go on and touch this. Oh my God, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the, uh, oh, beautiful. I like to smell things, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't have a smell, but I'm trying to find one. Maybe in here? No, no smell. So it's a clutch brush bag, makeup bag. It's got a sandworm on it, so we won't show Beetlejuice because he's not a fan, but I am a fan of sandworms. Don't tell him. Has like a nice clip button closure. Is that magnetic? Yeah. It is, it's magnetic. Um, it says Melt Loves Beetlejuice up here, which is super cute. It has a really great zipper with melt. I think, that, I think that's metal. Yeah, it's cold. It's definitely gonna be taken care of. It. It's faux leather, I think. It's a, you know, it's a vegan, vegan bag. So we like that. <gasps> oh, this is a cute, this is such a cute little mirror. Oh wow, it's a little see-through. You probably cannot tell that, but you can sort of see through it. Like I can see this Lydia um, through here, which is really pretty. And it's, um, it goes down to like a clear teardrop thing, a ghostly, a ghostly um, effect, if you will. Mm. Okay, let's see these brushes. <gasps> They're kind of like a mat, but not like that sticky mat that NARS packaging is. It's like a smooth kind of mat. 
and you can feel the lace kind of ridging there. Oh wow, oh that's soft. That is a very soft brush. I am going to flip and look at these brushes. I really wanted some new brushes and obviously <laughs> I really want to get more of these, but wow, that's so soft. This one is my favorite <laughs> of brushes because it's a skunk. It's got one, the other ones are like half white, half black, and this one has a little skunk stripe and it's just so cute. I love it. We have here, oh wow, that is nice. Wow, that is a large mirror. That is such a big mirror. Wow. This is the waiting room palette, so it's the one that has a lot of like burgundy, red, gray shades, and then we have a little, you can see, uh, put it on me, yeah, there we go. I guess you could make some sort of like a light, light box thing. I don't know, I'm gonna do some sort, of, something kind of crafty with these, I think. These are very pretty. I am not gonna swatch these right now, but just so you can see, it's very, it's like not gonna like just close on its own and push it down. Oh, that's nice. I kind of never want to touch it, but I'm going to, I will. It's just gonna take me a little bit before I can like work up to it. Oh, it comes with them. Get a refill. I'm like not a lash curler lover. I mean, I, I like them. I need, you have to have them. But if I have to have a lash curler, I would like it to be a Beetlejuice one. So I enjoy that. But this actually feels really, really bouncy. The rubber in here does not feel hard. Sometimes you get ones that are really, really hard and they don't, they don't work at all. This looks great and it looks quite, quite curved. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's heavy. That is a heavy mascara and it is like so nice. Got two little sandworms. Can you see? Do you see the two little sandworms and they're gonna kiss? And then on the other side, there's Beetlejuice. And it is, I guess, it's the word embossed. It's not the relief. It's raised. Let's do the gel liners. This is 125 years, which I am super excited to play around with this guy. Interesting, interesting smell. I love it. It's a sort of, it's like a neutral gray. This is the afterlife. And this is a, also a gel liner. I never want to touch it, but I really want to touch it. And then this one is a pigment paint, which is, oh wow. This is called Utterly Alone, obviously. Oh my God, would you look? Can you see that? Can you, why, can, are you, yeah, I'm gonna have to mm, see. There are some things that I might have to like get another of when they actually go on sale. I think it's this coming week, this Wednesday, um, maybe the 25th. The 25th. I think everything is on sale again. Um, you can get the box and individual things on their website. I'm not sure about other other websites, but yes, this is not eye safe probably because the amount of pigment or the kind of pigments that are in here. But you know, I'm, I'm a rebel Dottie. I'm definitely gonna put this on my eyes, so you know. This is the recently deceased eyeshadow palette. Oh, oh. So it's like, you can see yourself through the acrylic in the mirror here. If you're looking directly at this, you'll see, oh wait, you can see. <laughs> here, let's do this. That's really cool. This is the graveyard scene where Adam and Barbara have come in desperation in search of Beetlejuice. This has another giant mirror and then Beetlejuice's sweet little mischievous face there. I think that's only in the mats. It's not in any of the shimmers or the metallics. And I love the you know, mossy, the mossy mold touches on the side. It's so weird and wacky, and I'm glad that Melt 
made it a weird and wacky collection and not something that took itself like too seriously because obviously it's Beetlejuice we're talking about, so let's not get too serious with it, okay? And then we have the three lipsticks. This is Ghost with the Most, I think, yeah. Oh my God, it smells so good, <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna very carefully try to show you the sandworm. Come on, focus. This is Miss Argentina, so named for the receptionist, the civil servant in the afterlife. This one. <gasps> oh wow, and you know, there's even horizontal stripes here. If you can see that. Horizontal stripes, matte, shiny, matte, shiny, horizontal stripes. Dang, y'all. The details. Yeah, obviously this is really, really gorgeous. And I just want more of these. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying not to like collect makeup just to collect it. But this is Beetlejuice, so. This is a different story, it's Beetlejuice. So this is a strange color, which is funny because it is the one called Strange and Unusual. A lot of swatching has been just showing it as like a, a, a warm, like hot pink or reddish hot pink, but it looks nuts. When you're looking at it, I can see like blue fuchsia pink and then red sparkle and then maybe even some like orange, coral, gold stuff in there. It is so crazy. So I'm gonna um, take this out. It smells great. That. I mean, I realize it just looks like a warm, hot pink, but it really looks quite duochromatic from like coral red to blue pink when you're shifting it around in real life. And these are liquid lipsticks, and they are, it's a liquid lipstick formula. I mean, I'm, you could, you, I'm probably gonna end up putting them on my eyes too. Yeah. They set and dry down, and they also like leave a stain. So that is gonna be very exciting and weird to play with. This one is called It's Showtime. Sorry, I smell, it's so good. It smells like, almost like cake batter or something. Mm. Yeah. This one is not as like duochromatic. Yeah, it's definitely got some like golden, amber colored shimmers in there too. This is called Weirder and Weirder. Like I said, I wasn't gonna do swatches, but I'm just gonna swatch these. So this is like a black base, purple and blue, pink, coral, kind of amber colors. Okay, let's see. You see that? Yeah, you can see the blue in there now, right? That blue purple duochrome, and then this one is the first one, strange and unusual. You can see that sort of more rose gold kind of weird red pink thing happening in there. And then this one is It's Showtime. Everybody who's a Beetlejuice person and a makeup person deserves to have one of these, I feel, because it is very, very magical and I'm super, <sighs> I'm deriving a lot of joy right now and comfort from this box. And I know it's weird, but that's okay. It's not like we're normal on this channel ever, so that's fine. Okay guys, so that is it. Let me know what you think, if you plan on picking things up or if you have questions about the textures or, or you know, uh, things like that, let me know. I will answer them as soon as possible and I will put as much relevant information in the comments or description box as I can find about it. I hope you guys are well and I will see you all in my next video.